Okay, there's Phoebe sleeping on the radio. So I tuned this up on 17 meters. I'm brand new to 17 meters, so I just hit the 18 megahertz button. Uh, looked it up on the web, and it's uh, 18.110 uh, to 18.168. So somewhere around 1.3 ish. 18.1.3 is mid band. So that's what the uh, rig expert was showing where it was kind of landing the SWR. So here's my SWR. I'm going to set, I'm, I'm running a 400 watts. I'm just going to key up without the amp and we're going to see what that SWR is according to the radios meter. And see if I can focus here. So you'll see here there's 1.5 to 1. So we'll try to zoom in and count down. So hello N4MRN. And for MR, ooh, let's zoom in, trying to get the zoom function. That looks like about 1.3. I'm kind of at an angle here to try to get the light on it, maybe. Okay, sorry about that. Hello, and for MRN. So yeah, I could see in real life it's about three clicks down. Anyway, it's 1.3 to 1, according to that. Okay, so I already tuned this up here. I have my uh, 2500 watt. Uh, slug in my bird watt meter and so 2500 watts scale would be let's see here you can see 2500 watts would be the, uh, the upper scale right underneath here so uh, 2500 yeah so that would be 2000 watts 2500 watts 1500,000 watts 500 watts so 1500 watts our limit we should be there uh, right in there. <clears throat> I think it makes just under that for some reason. Uh, maybe because it is SWR. No, it should show a little more. So anyway, we're going to key up here and we're going to see where his baby swings to. Hello, audio. N4 MRN. So it looks like about 1400 watts. Hello, N4 MRN testing. Yep. Hello. Yeah. The big iron isn't putting out all 1500 watts on this band. He usually does. Uh, hello. Let's see here. Yeah, so there, there's SWR. So the way this watt meter works, it's not a directional watt meter. Here's 1500 watts on the amplifier. Uh, the SWR adds to that, so that's why when I key up it shows over 1500 watts. Uh, plate current, or grid current's okay at 250. I think the max is about 250, the 350. They want you to keep it under 250, so we're good there. Uh, what else can I show you? Oh, so let's go look at the reverse, see how many watts we got coming back. So we got about 1400 forward. Uh, I've already done this, so I'm going to do this again. I'm going to put a 50 watt slug and put it in so that the arrow is shown reflected back to the transmitter. With the amp, if I put it this way, it will blow the meter up probably. So it's 50 watts, and so the 50 watt scale is going to be this one. So it should be right around 30. I mentioned this before. So I got probably about 30 some, 32 reflective watts. Okay, we're on dead key down here. So that is. Oh, that's the zoom. It's sensitive. Okay, there's 30 watts. Oh, yeah, about 32, 34 watts. Reflected, 1400 forward. Uh, that's okay for that little wire antenna. I don't know if it's getting hot or not. Don't know if I could uh, talk on it tomorrow, but the band itself seems pretty dead. Uh, actually, you need to be an upper side band, so I'm not seeing any real activity to speak of. Let's turn it up and listen. Yeah, turn around, there's some birdies, some stations, 110 to uh, 160, some small band. That's the end of it, so 168. So I have to wait till the morning see what see what shows up here. So 110. Pretty small band right in there. Wow, okay. So it was pretty easy. Uh, 17 meters done easy. What else can I say? See you guys later.